And hurricane season is back running through this week through the end of November. Year to year, it's hard to predict how bad a hurricane season will be. But what we do know is that climate change is having an impact on hurricanes and how destructive they are. Here's David Schechter on the dot. Hurricanes, they cause more death and destruction than any other kind of extreme weather event in the U.S. For example, when Hurricane Ian hit Florida last year, nearly 150 people died. Science tells us there's a connection between hurricanes and climate change. But how strong is that connection and what can we expect for the future? Hi. Hi. Dr. Kristen Corbacero studies the intensity of hurricanes at the University at Albany in New York. Do we know if there will be more hurricanes in our future? We do not know that. We are less certain about that. And I know that's not a really satisfying answer. Um, it, it's not a satisfying answer to me as a scientist, but um, I think we need to be honest about what we know and what we're most certain about and then what we're less certain about. She says scientists don't know if climate change will lead to more hurricanes because they base their predictions for the future by looking at patterns from the past and we just don't have enough historical data to do that. But there are things scientists are certain about, so let's talk about those. One is that hurricanes are getting stronger. That's because they're fueled by warm ocean water and climate change is making the ocean warmer and that juices up hurricanes. Another is sea level rise and we have measurements on that going back in some cases more than 100 years. Corbusiero says higher sea level leads to more destruction through storm surge. So it's one of the most clear things I can think we can say about hurricanes and climate change. And we know that this kind of um, bringing water ashore is really the number one killer of people in hurricanes. And it's not just storm surge she's worried about. Check out this recent study in the Journal of Science Advances published in April. Areas in darker red will likely see more hurricane landfalls in the next 40 plus years. The areas in lighter blue will see fewer. So Florida is not looking good on this map. No, so the deep red over Florida would be more landfalls. When hurricanes happen in the Western Atlantic Ocean, unless they make landfall, they generally don't make news. This study concludes that climate change is affecting the air patterns out there that push hurricanes towards land. So do I have this right? So these hurricanes that are happening out in the middle of the ocean that we never know about, because they, we've changed the way weather works, have more likelihood of hitting land hitting Florida. Yes, that's what this study projects um, in a, you know, 40 plus years from now that our change of the climate will impact these storms and whether they hit the U.S. or not. That's super interesting. So how strong is the connection between climate change and hurricanes? Science tells us it's strong, though we don't know everything, like if there will be more hurricanes. And what can we expect for the future? Well, the U.S. may see more hurricanes that make landfall, and when they do, they'll bring more destructive water with them. I'm David Schechter, On The Dot. During the past four decades, the federal government estimates that hurricanes have caused more than $1.1 trillion in damage in the U.S. Those storms now responsible for nearly 6,700.